We might be able to ask Ricky O'Toole after the game. Both coaches uh, making themselves available for the final. Sorry, and thanks to White Cross Healthcare this afternoon, our post-match review. What's going on here? It's an umpire McMaster taking... Uh, for the, uh, tell him that he's uh, reported Barry O'Toole for striking him, I'd say. He's taken the captain over there. Uh, <coughs> Heath Buck's on it as well. Going to full forward. He's come back on, Heath, has he? Yes. Well, what's Luke Luddick's not the captain? Interesting, interesting. <laughs> no, he's vice captain. He probably couldn't find Heath down the goal square. That's what's <laughs> that's what's going on. <laughs> it could work well, she. Yeah, well, that's what's happened. No. <laughs> so umpire hockey oh, has couldn't be bothered running down there to get him. <laughs> that could have been the thing. He probably thought he was still on the bench. <laughs> yeah, umpire hockey right. holds the ball off for the start of the third term. Cry six seven forty three. They lead. Werribee Central six six forty two. It'll be Shay Walker and Sean Stewart. And umpires picked out a free kick for somebody running into the square early, and it was a Werribee Central player. Yeah, so I think it was Young Foley ran in, got, got there a bit too quick. So Shay Walker will take the free kick from the middle. Rob Walton gives him a lead. He goes in that direction now, might hold up. Also there is Tate off hands. And it comes back, it was Smith in fact, to the back of the pack. Bernardo handball to Common Soli, handball towards Beck, handball to Foley, running through the middle. Goes to the right foot, foot kick towards half forward. Lazaric goes up against uh, Johns. Lazaric keeps it in front of him. He's surrounded by Centurions. He keeps running through and does well. Handballs towards Ricky O'Toole, who breaks free from a couple, then handballs back to Shea Walker. Give it back to the coach. He does. Runs through the middle. Ricky O'Toole, right foot kick out wide to Charles. He's got a bit of run here. One he goal. can run on too. Goes on the left foot on the left foot, foot now towards full forward. Off hands. Tate there. Oh, he's held off the ball. Play on the call. He's still over the top of it. Goes through for a rush behind to the Devils. Bit unfortunate there. It was a good build-up, wasn't it? Yeah, excellent. So they go to 6 8 44 now, Carayo. They lead Werribee Central 6 6 42. Lex the Wyndham third quarter scoreboard. A minute and a half played. So Roland Beck doing the kicking in for Werribee once again. Interesting how Blake sort of falls backwards without being held. <laughs> <laughs> Roland Beck. Long kick in. Outside 50 to the outer side. Oh, Walton. Yeah. Umpire saw that one. So, uh... Oh, now everybody's oh, stopped, so uh, now umpire chance. hockey again calls uh, play on. Advantage, but uh, the ball's kicked across the ground for uh, Werribee Centrals. Gundry picks it up off a step, goes towards half four. Oh. Charles oh. held without the football. Ah, this is a joke now. It's uh, <laughs> very close to the boundary line. In the back. Now the umpire has uh, put a whistle on play, even though the ball is over the, the boundary, but it, it is a free kick to Smith of Cryo. From the behind, almost uh, mark taken there by Clifford, but the ball comes uh, back to centre wing. In front, Chris Smith. Gundry tries to uh, punch the ball to ground. Oh, Foley kept it back in, but it's to the advantage of Lazaric. He tries to get through a tackle, can't do so. Beck, handball, it's all where be here. Hawks can't pick it up. He's uh, crunched. Foley picks it up. He's crunched also, and uh, yeah, a bit of pressure will uh, right. Good come pressure. In and uh, put the ball in the air. I often don't think the umpires don't pay the free kicks, they frustrate them. Yep. And uh, gee whiz, I tell you what, could get out of hand here if uh, they don't have a bit of control. So on centre wing, umpire hockey puts it in the air. Neither Stewart or uh, Walker can get the footy. Delaney gets the footy, but he's tackled. Bigham runs at the footy, doesn't get it. Coming in is Dabrowski. Good play. Oh, good play. Clears the ball wide to Good centre wing. Good vision as well. Walker's out there. He chips it over the top. And here's Gundry on centre wing. Takes the mark. Come up to the ball. So uh, Come up the ball, Tatey. Tatey's sent across there and he's got to lead up to him. So Gundry now. Oh, she off a step. Kicks it to Dabrowski. He does well. Takes the footy. There's uh, Cousins on the overlap. Runs through strongly. Takes the handball. Tate pushes his uh, opponent in. Luttick in the back. But Luttick uh, holds his ground. Chips it there to uh, Bordignan. And Bordignan finds Hawks in the centre of the ground. Handball to Stewart. Stewart now long to full forward for the uh, Werribee side. Heath Buck put down again. And uh, I don't think he's too fit, Heath Buck, as Lazaric picks up the footy at the back. Matty King is loose on centre wing. Takes the mark. If he's got players running, he should uh, chip it on. But, well, I don't know where he's kicked that footy. The lead, I think, was from uh, Justin Tate on centre wing. Runs back on the footy. He's two to one against him. Howlett there in support for Werribee. Chips it over the top, but uh, only finds King. And gee whiz, they're not handling the footy all that well at the moment. 
finally, ball comes to Tate on centre wing. Tries to handball away. He's put down after the uh, handball goes. Picked up there for Werribee. Finds Chris Delaney in the centre of the ground. And Delaney of Werribee now. As players uh, goes long to uh, the flank. The player loose out there was Kennedy. And uh, he takes the mark, Kennedy. He's got Johns streaming forward for him. He goes wide. But Run on. he's into a uh, pretty difficult position there, Johns. Puts the ball to boot, has a pot shot, but he's gone left of the big timber. So behind to uh, Justin Johns of Werribee. It's Werribee's first score for the third quarter. They go to 6-7-43. They trail Correa 6-8-44. Lexus of Wyndham scoreboard. Five minutes gone, third quarter. Dabrowski kicks into King in the back pocket. Goes further afield towards Tate at half back out of side. Takes the mark. Turns around on the left boot. Goes to Cockrell over his head. Walker's there as well. Cockrell still in support. Should have been a push in the back. Cockrell gets the uh, kick around the corner towards Clifford on centre wing. No mark taken. Off hands. Werribee with the numbers. Clifford through the middle. Couldn't take it with him. Also in there. Is that's holding the ball, is it? No, the umpire said it's held to him. Just and, bringing uh, Heath Buck off, off again. Heath Buck Not off. Moving, moving too well since uh, he got that knock in the second quarter. So it's going to be a ball up on centre wing on the outer side. It's 6 8 44 to 6 7 43. And Heath Buck off the ground. Replaced by Steve Cook. Ball up, off hands towards Charles, who's over the top of the football, needs some support. Surrounded him now, and we'll have another bounce on centre wing. Barry O'Toole back on the ground. So his uh, stint has finished. So they're back to 17, Carayo. That's the best they can do for the rest of the game. That's the best they can do. Now, Walton. Gets it down, only as far as Andrew Hawks. Kick around the corner towards Johns, who leads the race of the football. Sits for him, handball to Delaney. His handball out in front. Kick off the ground once again by him. Goes towards uh, Kelbert and also Ricky Bingham. And they speed over the boundary line. at Half forward on the outer side for Werribee for another boundary throw in. The, the stand of the game's uh, deteriorated. I'm yeah. not sure whether it's just because Carrara uh, uh, are in the position where they've got to uh, be desperate and um, probably putting a bit extra pressure on, but it's very ordinary at the moment, I can tell you. From the throw in, Walker gets it down. The Brusky <coughs> picks it up. I think he's kicked it out in the boundary road. Matter of fact, it's shocking. <laughs> <laughs> so out of bounds on the full. Standing the mark is Rick Lazaric as Chris Delaney waits for the football to uh, be returned to him. About 65 metres from the, uh, the goal line, deep on the boundary. So Delaney now looking for some movement up forward. Well, he runs around the man the mark, goes onto his left foot, kicks it towards the full forward position. Well, almost a great mark. Dabrowski picked up by Ricky O'Toole, handball to Cousins. <coughs> He's tackled and uh, finally gets a handball clear. Had plenty of time given to him by the umpire. Keating, handball to Walker and uh, he goes back into trouble. Great handball to Charles. So here you go, Carrillo now. He's got nobody line. to kick to on the half forward line. So he's gone wide to the flank looking for Tate and Luttick out there. Tate, handball. Well, not such a good handball. Put Clifford under enormous pressure and uh, they're more than happy just to see the ball uh, run to the boundary line. And there's a bit of play acting going on here at the moment. A few players throwing themselves on the ground in the hope of getting free kicks, but I don't think the umpires are paying anything. So uh, not much chance of getting a kick that way. Ball comes in. Well, what's happened here? Shane Whistle Walker. on the play. Walker went to ground. and uh, Robbie, Wal Walton, Robbie Walton in the ruck contest, and he's been uh, given the free kick by the umpire. So Walton of uh, Carrillo. They can hold them in this quarter. They're looking all right for the final quarter. Rivet at the back of the pack on half forward. Can't take the mark. Pushes it forward. Barry tool Chips it forward. Oh. Luttick uh, recovered his poise there, but dropped the chest mark. And uh, has kicked the ball out of bounds. Half forward flank for Carrillo. And uh, as I say, Welsh, if uh, Carrillo can hang on in this third quarter, that bruise seems to be uh, coming, coming up, up yeah. quite a bit. And uh, gives them a big chance in the last quarter. Eight minutes into the uh, third quarter. Ball thrown in half forward flank. Kicked along the ground for Werribee to Hawks. He's got a player breaking in uh, Kennedy. Behind is Keating. No, there's a player can take the mark. Now it's fallen for Rick Lazaric. He'll pick it up. Handball over to Charles. Kick a goal, Turns son. around. Oh. Has a pot shot from uh, 40. But uh, off balance and off line. So it's only behind to Carrier. 6 9 45. They lead Werribee Central. 6 7 43. Lexus to win them. Third quarter scoreboard. Nine minutes gone. So Roland back from fullback, goes short to Hawks, takes the mark. Got a bit of room to play on. He just holds it up though, needs a, a lead. He goes to Luke Luddick. 
Goes in that direction. Lazaric from behind. Kennedy as well. Lazaric goes up. Double fisted down and does his own roving and runs away. Lazaric goes a long way. Kicks on the right boot. Oh, in the end, falls to Beck who takes the mark. Uncontested in the end. He goes back to whence it came. Now coming out at Ludic again. Over the back, Keating. Off hands. Kennedy's there. Pretty close to the boundary line. Kennedy will see it over for a throw in. Between wing and half forward for the Devils. Kicking to the northern end against the Breeze in this third term. They trail 6-7. Sorry, they lead 6-9 to 6-7. Boundary throw in. From the back, Walker. Pushed Stewart to the front. Couldn't take the footy with him, though. Kick off the ground. Goes back towards O'Toole on centre wing. And has to turn around, go to the right boot. And kick over the top towards Dabrowski. Boarding and gets a hand there. Does well. Needs some support. Clifford comes through. He's still going at it. Boarding and across half backs. Done very well. Gives it away to Beck. Left foot kick. Cook and Calvert. Oh, Calvert's got an absolute paddock if he turns around and runs. Shepard. He does so now. Cook gives him half a Shepard. Lazaric nearly got him. The kick towards Johns coming at it was Troy Gundry, but he took the mark. Under pressure, Justin Johns just inside the 50. Now short little kick to Crystalloni, who took the uh, finger tipper on his toes. Now he kicks it over the top. Luddick by himself. It's over his head. Matty King probably Sid. come at him, Matty. He has to now. He kicks goal. the goal anyway. <coughs> Luke Luddick has kicked the goal. His first and the seventh for Werribee Centrals. They go to 7 7 49. They lead Cry 6 9 45 on Alexa Wyndham third quarter scoreboard. Doesn't need to be given much latitude, Luke Laddick, does he? he? He sort of capitalised very quickly on any mistakes. Yes, and that they probably for the first time used that loose man there. They were able to get down That's there. Right. Uh, uh, John's is sitting here. He's got to get away out of the pack. He, 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 got, he drifted away a bit and he came into the game, but uh, that's where it's going to uh, be hard on Karai. They're doing an excellent job. Uh, and, and Ricky's trying to marshal his players there to, to, to put pressure on. Just and think if once they, they get the ball, as you said earlier, the school's got to be uh, spot on. Yeah. In the middle again, Stewart and Walker. Stewart gets a tap over the top. Running onto the footy from half-back is uh, Bigham. His kick is uh, spoiled. Comes to ground in the middle. <coughs> Common Soley over to Stewart. He's, gee, there's terrific work in uh, close there. The, uh, well, now, poor. Oh, he's uh, played right. throwing the ball That's against uh, <coughs> Chris Delaney. So uh, the free kick has gone to uh, Dabrowski in the centre of the ground. He's gone wide to centre wing. One on one out there, Barry O'Toole. Ball comes to ground. Kick around the corner, only as far as uh, Dabrowski. He's gone wide again out there onto that side. Cry obviously going that way. Tate takes <coughs> the mark, plays on quickly. Oops. He's kicked oh. off. Player, uh, well, fell to ground. Walton picks it up from 20 metres out. Has gone. Goal. He doesn't kick many goals, Rick. But uh, Robbie Walton's kicked one today. So a uh, very important goal there for Corio against the Breeze. And uh, at 12 minutes into the third quarter, Corio moved to 7-9-51 ahead of Werribee Central. 7-7-49, Lexus of Wyndham, third quarter scoreboard. Yes, yeah, so they probably a bit indirect sick. there, but I think that was yeah. the way they had to go. You, you spoke about that before, Welshie, and... Uh, uh, I mean, if they go straight up the centre, they're going to have a bloke sitting there, of course. Walker gets it down from the middle. Common Soley wrapped up by Cousins. High tackle first, though, said the umpire. And Common Soley will take the free kick. Plays on now. Cousins doesn't even chase him off the mark. He goes with the right foot kick towards half forward. Coming across, Kelbert off hands. Keating at the back. Oh, Kennedy's there as well. Cockrell <coughs> through the middle of the pack. Blind Good turn does well. Handball. Oh, sets uh, Gundry a task. Stewart's in there. Taps it on. Well done. Boarding then. Oh, he threw it. Goes towards Kelbert. He's over the top. Gives it to Kennedy. Through the middle of the pack. Does well. David Kennedy. Chris Smith, 30 metres out and closing. Oh, he can walk in and kick the goal and does. Chris Smith has kicked his second. And the eighth for Werribee Centrals. They go to 8 7 55. They reclaim the lead again. Cry 7 9 51. Lexa Wyndham, third quarter <coughs> scoreboard. 13 minutes played. That was just that loose man again, Laurie. Wasn't yeah, it? Just, exactly, just Paul. Yeah. Got into the hole there and uh, very hard when, when they got the run on down the ground. Well, I think Eric just called Quite 10, a bit minute, of activity 10 minutes of play gone. At the other end. And, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, where are we going to do a lot more than this, though? If, yep. if, I mean, uh, They'll probably be able to bottle up with the loose man in the last quarter, but they want to get a few up in front. So Stewart at full forward. We've got uh, Chris Smith doing the ruck work for Werribee against Robbie Walton for Carrillo. Smith gets a tap down to Delaney. Weaves and dodges and twists and turns. Gets through the pack and kicks the ball. Ricky O'Toole down in the middle of the ground. On half forward. Good work there by Lazaric. Gets the ball to Gant. Keating over the top to Lazaric who's running. Needs to get a kick quickly. He does so. Finds uh, Walton. 
Oh, handball over the top to Smith for Cryo. Smith on half forward, kicks it toward full forward. The ball's fallen to a Rivet. Turns quickly, hooks it oh, on the right foot. He's hooked too it much. too far and uh, offline to the left of the Big Timber. What Seven, a bad build up either. Moved very, very nicely there. 7 10 52 Cryo. They trail every Central's 8 7 55. Lexus have win them third quarter scoreboard, 14 minutes gone. Roland Beck from fullback again. Got Matthew for Stuka and Kennedy wide. He goes in that direction now. Probably for Kennedy. It's a good kick too. For Stuka sets him a path and he takes the mark in front of Amon Charles. You've got Cook on a long lead. He goes in that direction. Won't uh, make the distance. Ricky O'Toole off hands. Goes towards, well, oh, great roving. Matthew for Stuka oh, goes on left foot kick done. towards Calvert at half forward. And he takes the mark. Now Stewart. Yeah, this is where they've got to use their brains here. Yeah, this is loose man coming. He goes short over the top towards Howlett. Can't take the mark. King bears down. Handball back in board for Common Siley at 50. Little short kick. Oh, it's terrible. And Ricky Lazaric is there in front of uh, Stewart. But he's wrapped up. He needs some support. He's got some now. Gundry. Who, That's uh, shocking. Goes wide and finds Ricky Bigham. Runs away at half back. Can set something up. Go with the right foot. Kick long oh, towards good Tate. Kick. Good kick too in front of Luddick. And he doesn't take the mark, so he has to play on. And he gets wrapped up by Luddick. Gets the kick away. The turnover might come again. Clifford and Delaney. Delaney makes it first. He's got Hawks in the middle by himself. He goes in that direction and spots him up. Takes the mark. Go. <laughs> He's just standing there waiting for somebody to stand the mark. Shea Walker says, I will. And he goes out wide looking for Kelbert. Bigham comes up. Can't take the mark. Off hands. Dabrowski's there. Turnover again. Handball out wide. On centre wing, Ricky Bigham's got it. Goes towards half forward. Oh, no. And turnover again, where Wherebee Centrals can take the mark. And it's Matthew Hallam who switches play once again. Oh, now they're, they're turning the ball over. Goes towards Cousins in the middle. Foley comes at pace. Cousins does well. Trips over. Handball to Ricky O'Toole off the halfback flank. Through the middle. Goes long towards Smith and Tate over the back. Oh, oh well done. Well done, Matthew Vestuka. Now Smith tries to get it. But, oh, great play, Wherebee Centrals. They... they rebound again through Beck at half back. He handballs it away to Bernardo. Left foot kick short. It's okay. And finds his teammate, Common Soli, switches play That's towards Vestuka, who takes the mark on centre wing. Now a little chip over the top to Kelbert's okay. He takes the mark on the point of the centre square at half He's forward. He's right here in the pocket on his own. Kelbert goes towards the coach, Howlett, who takes the mark at half forward. King standing the mark. Kennedy gives him a lead. Foley gives him a lead. He goes long towards the lead of Justin Johns. Kelvin Keating from the behind does well. Kennedy and Ricky O'Toole. O'Toole. Burns away, goes with a right foot kick. Back to whence it came. King and Howlett now across there. Chris Delaney as well, two on one. Delaney, can he get up and get away? Yes, he can, but Clifford tackled, well, half a tackle. He got the football away to the back towards <coughs> Luddick. They're putting the pressure on Hamble over the top to Howlett. Throws to the umpire. Yep. Oh. And it will be a free kick to Carayo. And it will... I'll wear that long as he's consistent, the umpire. Yep. I mean, that's, that's <laughs> he's that's played a few throws, though, uh, over that. that central umpire. So King on the defensive side of centre wing goes the leader Shea Walker. Can't take the mark off hands. Needs some support. Surrounded by Centurions. One of them's Luke Luddick. Tried to get it free. And the umpire is found over the shoulder. And Shea Walker will take the free kick. The lead on from Tate. He goes in that direction now. Might fall short Tate. And good play Matthew for Stuka to chop it off <coughs> and take the mark at half back. So handball to Beck. Beck going behind for oh. Stuka. Now he's had to go back the other way to the outer side. <coughs> Diving for the ball there's Luddick, can't pick it up, Clifford does, off a step, kicks it towards half forward, running in fast as uh, Charles, picks it up, hooks it around the corner, he's found Tate, he's Over got the top. Uh, Rivet in the goal Rivet. square, lovely handball from Tate to Rivet, and Rivet kicks the goal for Carrillo, so well, great teamwork. Carrillo on the Lexus to Wyndham scoreboard, 8-10-58. Regain the lead from Werribee Central, 8 7 55, and it's 18 minutes into the third quarter. There's good pressure over there on, on that side with uh, forcing uh, Roland Beck to go around the other side, go back back around the boundary line, and Tate chased him. He just got his hand in his back just to create a, you know, a, a forced kick, and obviously they brought it back and set it up well with uh, Tate and uh, Chad Rivett finishing it off. I mean, it was all made so easy, though, for their errors, the, the skill errors from Werribee. Yeah. Well, she though, it's atrocious. Back in the middle, Walton got it down, Cousins is there, he's played pretty well in the middle today, he breaks free again, right foot kick long towards Rivet and left chook, Rivet puts the hands up, can't take the mark, and he runs through the middle as well, the big man tries to take it with him, is that over? The, is that holding the ball, the umpire says play on, now he says it's held to him, and yeah. the cry boys can't <laughs> believe it. They're praying. Yeah. <laughs> so it'll be a ball up at centre half forward for Carayo. Brent Rutherford waiting to come on for the first time this afternoon. 
Now Rivet and Walker. Rivet gets it down. Charles had it and lost it. Now a kick off the ground. Smith leads in the race of the football. In front of Festuka. Over the top of it. Needs to get rid of it. Does so. At the back of the pack. Still in there fighting hard. Aim on Charles and also Bernardo. And the umpire will come in and ball it up pretty close to the boundary line and half forward. So a double change. Cockrell off. Rutherford on. Keating off. And Dave Valley's on. For Carayo. So ball up. Walker. Ricky O'Toole through the middle of the pack. Does very well. Tries to break two or three tackles. Can't do so. Held to him. And it will be another ball up on half forward. So 8.10.58 Karai, Werribee Central's 8.7.55. We've been playing 19 and a half minutes in the third term. And Paul McMaster puts the ball in the air, half forward flank, and it's Chris Smith, looks for the safety of the boundary line. Coming through hard there was Smith of uh, Carayo, but uh, he can't control the footy, it's off hands and over the boundary line. <coughs> so uh, 40 metres from the behind post, attacking area for Carayo once again. They've got the nose in front by three points as the ball comes in. Walton taps the ball forward for Carrillo. Two on one there for Werribee. They kick it wide, looking for the boundary. Coming in hard there is that Luke Luddick threw the Through, ball out. Yeah. Now Paul <laughs> agreed with me. And uh, it is Lee Clifford of Carrillo to uh, get the free kick. So Luke Luddick a little bit too slick there. Clifford now drives the ball into uh, full forward. Tate gets pushed forward. Left hook at the back of the pack. Picks it up. A little left foot uh, chip pass. has found Luddick. Drops the mark. Coming in hard there is Ricky O'Toole. Free kick, I think and he's yeah. suggested, uh, what's he done? Kicking in danger is the only thing that could possibly be there that I could see. But um, the free kick goes to uh, Luddick. Chips the ball backwards, looking for Hallam. He's gone back into the corridor and, oh. uh, well, cannot believe that. That's two, just using the body, isn't it? Two players going for the football and... Uh, <laughs> it was a wrong choice of position to go to for a start. Yeah. But that, uh, From Werribee. Oh, definitely. So Hawks it is. Okay. Free kick goes to Senna center wing, left hook, the only player to stand there, take the mark, handball to Roland Beck, Beck goes long to centre half forward, Howlett in good oh, position, good and takes a strong mark there ahead of uh, Matty King, looking for the 50, but I don't <laughs> think he'd get it there, wouldn't even get an Academy Award. Go back and kick the goal, coach. Well, they need a goal to put them back in front. Here's Matty Cullen coming on now. So, uh, a little chip pass has found, uh, is it Cook? Deep in the uh, forward line. So Werribee Central's uh, the opportunity here. Through Cook, Howlett probably could have kicked the goal, but uh, chipped the short pass to the loose player. 21 and a half minutes gone. As Cook comes in there, keeps the ball low. Oh, gee, I think Still Howlett should have had the shot because he's <laughs> just sprayed it to the right. And uh, a behind. 8.56 eight Werribee Central. So I trail Cryo, 8.10.58. Lexus will win the third quarter scoreboard, 22 minutes. You'll be giving the buzz at three-quarter time, won't well, you? Well, yeah, <laughs> Dabrowski plays on from fullback. Gains 10 metres, kicks short. OK, finds Rick Lazaric. Yeah, he's still inside defensive 50. And he's got uh, not much on offer at the moment. Lee Clifford Long. We see... Smith off and Cullen on. He's still got the ball, Rick Lazaric. He goes short now towards the coach. Ricky O'Toole takes the mark. <clears throat> so, haven't gained much by that. Pretty close to the boundary line. Tries to drill the pass to Dabrowski over his head. Now in front, Walton. Handball towards Dabrowski. Played for a free kick. Didn't get one. Kelbert. Pretty close to the boundary line. In fact, it's over. That will be a boundary throw in. On half forward on the outer side for Werribee. Attacking the southern end in this third term. We've been playing 23 minutes. And they trail by two points from the back of the ruck contest. Good pick up by Cook. Handballed it towards Festuka. Ran through the middle. That's Matthew Festuka. Kick towards Calvert, who can get around on the left. And his kick smothered though by Gundry. Doing well the uh, cry of defence. He goes wide looking for the boundary line. Safety first. And he finds it at 50. They're doing very well, Well, she Putting yeah. pressure on. They're doing excellent, the back line back there. They're just you know, creating little mistakes and pushing towards the boundary line, just waiting to get something something set up further down the ground. It's a clear possession. Smith from the ruck contest, big tap away. Ricky O'Toole put his body on the line. Handball was partly smothered. Smith followed it up. Also in there working hard was Matty King. And we see the big man coming off, Sean Stewart, to be replaced by Peter Gray. So he's having a rest. Now a ball up in the left forward pocket for Werribee Central's. Smith, big punch away. Howlett comes out. And Crystal Delaney does well. Breaks a couple of tackles. Gets half a trip, actually. No free kick. 
Goes back towards Calvert off a step. Great kick. And point. No, point. point. He's missed it. Yeah, they've got some pressure on there. Yeah. Pressure from the cry defence again. Simon Calvert puts through his second behind. So they go to 8 9 57. And they trail cry 8 10 58. 24 minutes played. Lexa Wyndham third quarter scoreboard. I'm not sure whether it was just because it was the goal squeeze, but that wasn't around the neck to Chris Delaney. <laughs> so, Dabrowski. I'm sounding like a coach now. You are. To the uh, grandstand side. Howlett. Crumming at the back of the pack. It's a handball clear. Picked up by Valleys. He's looking for handball into Cullen. Cullen gets rid of it pretty quickly. Over to uh, Bigham. Bigham now. Where's he kicked it? Looking for the safety of the boundaries. Heading towards the uh, centre wing. Hawks runs in pretty hard. Picks it up. Handball's back into play. But uh, he's found Walton. Great Good. tackle there. Walt. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I don't agree with that. I thought Wasn't he punched it quite clearly. About 10 yards in front of us. And now Pye suggests he threw it. So free kick goes to, to Foley. Foley has uh, Howlett on half forward flank. Takes the mark. Sees a player loose at centre half forward. Oh, oh. magnificent work by Ricky O'Toole. <laughs> Put what? the one hand up and uh, plays oh. it But uh, what a shocking kick as a you result. Get <laughs> and <laughs> just can't you believe that? A couple of sensational individual <laughs> efforts by Ricky O'Toole. The diving slips catch. Handball clear. Picked up by Dabrowski. Problem is they've got no one to kick to. Now they have as uh, Lazaric takes the mark on centre wing. Now a bit of movement wanted up forward. Lazaric runs a long way, kicks it a long way, goes to centre half forward at the back. Oh. Uh, Clifford takes the over mark. The top. Over the top. Over it. the top to Rivet and he's got another one in the goal square, the Chad goal. Rivet. And he's kicked it as far as he could <laughs> kick it. So uh, great effort from the, the cryer side. Sensational <laughs> effort, Ricky O'Toole in defence. But the goal goes on the board, the third to Chad Rivet. And the ninth to the Cryer side. 9 10 64. They lead Werribee Central's 8 9 57. Lexus of Wyndham third quarter scoreboard. 26 minutes gone. Well, you'd be happy with your joint coach, wouldn't you, Ricky yeah, O'Toole? Oh, you'd be pretty happy with that. <coughs> sensational effort. With, he chipped in, took a one handed mark, <laughs> then he messed the kick up, and he <laughs> took a back. diving <laughs> slip catch to get it back. He messed the kick up because he lost his boot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come off. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, that that's excellent. inspirational stuff, isn't yeah, it? That's what the sure. coach is all about. Back in the middle. Shane Walker up against Chris Smith. We're still off the ground. Umpire Hallett. Oh, don't tell me. They've done it again. Where are we Central's? Andrew yeah. Hawks on this occasion is running too quick. God, Walker. Where's a runner? Hands it off to Ricky O'Toole. Kick partly smothered. Goes towards half forward. Cousins uses his body oh, well. Get, got Charles in support. Aim on Charles around the corners. Great to Matty Cullen at centre half forward. There's a bit of feeling for Cryo here. Cullen's got it. Goes wide to Lee Clifford. It's a good kick too. Look at that from the mull. And he's picked out Lee Clifford at 50. Rivet gives him a lead. Tate He's got square. Tate in the square. He wants to go pretty close to the man on the mark and drive it long towards Tate. Off hands, off Bernardo. And hits the behind post, in fact, in the goal post. Yep. And through for one behind to the crying side. So they go to 9 11 65. They lead Werribee Central's 8 9 57. Lexa Wyndham third quarter scoreboard, 27 minutes played. So Roland Beck looking for options at fullback. He's done the kicking in all day. Goes long to the social club side. Big pack up high, comes to ground, picked up by oh, Kennedy, great, great tackle. tackle there. Ball spills, picked up by Valleys, no, he couldn't pick it up, and finally uh, for Stuka, <gasps> hits oh. it uh, toward the boundary line. Well, Ricky O'Toole has uh, pushed Matthew for Stuka across the boundary line, straight into the fence. And a free kick to Vestuka. So it was out of my line of vision yep. there, so uh, Vestuka. Just give him a helping hand, really. Into the Stuka back to the middle of the ground. Bigham over the top by hand to Ricky O'Toole. By hand to Cullen. Cullen now. The left foot kick. The lead is from uh, Rivet. He's, uh, well, like a big uh, ship there. He couldn't turn <laughs> around. And the uh, left hook there looks for the safety and finds the safety of the boundary. 25, 30 metres from the behind post. <laughs> Rivet coming out towards the uh, the kicker there in Matty Cullen. And the ball was a bit offline. He uh, just really couldn't go sideways. So the ball about to be thrown in. 30 metres from the behind post. Walton gets the ball down, kicks the ball off the ground. It's going to land in the goal square. Rivet is in front. Picked up there. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. No, it was Walton. picked up by Robbie Walton. Walton. Terrific follow-up. He got the tap down in the ruck. He's kicked the ball off the ground. The goal square He's followed it on himself, and he's kicked his second goal. So, Carrillo, they're running on very strongly with one player short at the moment. 10-11-71. They lead Werribee Central's 8 9 57. Lexus have won them third quarter scoreboard almost 29 minutes into he, this third quarter. He's worked very hard up there, Robbie Walton, to keep the ball in and uh, 
bring it to ground and you know he's rewarded with a couple of goals this quarter and you know and he's had a run on the ball too and he's game overall his workload I think Ricky O'Toole will be very happy with it so back in the middle Walker and Smith umpire throws the ball in the air Walker stands his ground Smith gets it towards Cook and Delaney Delaney a great little tap onto Howlett traps it handball to Mary chopped off by King getting their aim on Charles on the cricket pitch area Mary to Chris Smith but there is the siren for three quarter time and it's Carrillo, 10, 11, 71. They lead Werribee Central's 8, 9, 57. In that third term, Carrillo kicked four goals, four, while Werribee managed two goals, three. And it's 14 points of difference at three-quarter time. The goal kickers for Carrillo, three to Chad Rivett and two each to Justin Tate and Rob Walton. Singles to Ricky O'Toole, Lee Clifford and Amon Charles. While for Werribee Central's two each to Heath Buck and Chris Smith. Singles to Luke Luddick, Warren Foley, Simon Kelbert and Chris Delaney, but uh, against the Breeze, Carrillo, 10-11-71. They lead Werribee Central's 8-9-57. Sets it up for a fantastic final term. We'll take a break.